Hey everybody, Psychic Medium Jamie here from Shades of Spirit and I have been doing a lot of meditating the past few days and I have had quite a few clients in the past few days and the connections and the messages have really all been the same. And so I asked Spirit what was my role in this right now and they explained that your role right now is to actually help guide others along with myself for the end of the year journey. And with that being said, they've pulled out a couple decks. I'm gonna use a couple new decks that I have. And so I'm doing a collective read. Um, since I cannot go live yet, because I don't have enough followers, because I switched my accounts around, um, you guys have gotta like, 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 share, 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 get the word out there so I can do live readings. But for now, I'm just gonna do a collective reading. If you're interested in a reading, you can DM me and I can throw a message up in this particular fashion for you. Um, it will be broadcasted obviously to everyone, um, but I'll be doing some short snippet readings for people who are giving me permission since I can't go live at the moment. Uh, but anyway, anyway, I don't even know where that accent came from. Just channeling a lot of spirit today. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna do two different decks. It's going to be a message for the collective. Um, for what it is that our spirit teams, our spirit guides, our angels really are needing us to do in order to clear out old stagnant energy in 2023 and move into 2024. For those of you like myself that kind of got caught off guard that we're already in November, we only have seven weeks left before the new year. I do believe that our birthdays are definitely our beginning and endings of year cycles, but... I also do take into consideration the calendar cycles because a lot of us do run on calendar cycles due to work. Um, we do calendar cycles for our birthdays as well. So I'm looking at this as kind of a refresh uh, button for us and where do we need to go for 2024. So with that being said, the first card that my spirit team and angels are telling me, we all should be kind of looking towards and at, just fell on the floor, so hold on a minute here. Okay. Don't mind the mess behind me. Still working on this room as my office. Um, the first card is face your fear, passion, and power. Look how stunning the colors are in this card. You guys see those? There you go. I have a glare, sorry, I can't see. Passion and power. So if you think about that card and it's about facing your fears, it's about releasing, 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 which is what I just told a client today. It is time to release. It is time to let go. It is time for us to come into a space of realizing that it is okay to let go of this trauma, ancestral karma, break those patterns and be in a space of one with your soul. So when we can face those fears, when we can break those patterns, we acknowledge it and it allows us to release, which is a huge part of what we want to do right now. The second card that they're having me pull out of this deck is, it's going to be in threes, so here we go. Express your heart, the story keeper card. Let's see, there you go. Story keeper card. And so the Story Keeper card with Express Your Heart is honestly kind of like bringing in the intentions factor of it, right? So we have Face Your Fears and now we have Express Your Heart. So Express Your Heart is what does your heart want? What is the heart desiring? What do you want to manifest and create for 2024? What are you willing to let go of now in order to put yourself in that space of acceptance? and the openness to receive, okay? So express your heart. And the last one that came out, of course, it's kind of like that positive, negative, positive thing, or as I just learned from a, a client and friend of ours, the shit sandwich, um, let the past die. Okay, here's the last one for this particular spread. These cards are just stunning. Let the past die. So you're facing your fears, you're acknowledging them, you're letting them go, you're moving that energy out, you're expressing your heart. What do I want? What am I looking for? If you don't know, that is okay. You don't have to have all the answers immediately, but you can put out into the universe and you can say to your spirit guides and your angels, put me back on my path, my designated path, the one I made upstairs with all of you. They're the ones that know what we're supposed to be doing. Please put me on my path. Please allow me to be open to receiving those messages and signs that you're giving me in order for me to realize what's in my heart and what's next for me. And then it's gonna be letting the past die. So when we can 
finish that cycle, honestly, and manifesting. We are letting the past die. We are moving into the future tense, and we are staying present in the mind, knowing that we are going to be achieving and reaching higher goals of next year. Now, out of the next deck that I have for us, it is the Urban Crow deck, which I really have just taken a huge liking for this. I already have connections with crows. I don't know if you guys can hear the crows in the background, um, but so this is, I'm asking strictly from our spirit guide. So those are our human based entities that are part of our spirit team that is helping us in one aspect or another. Spirit guides can come and go, right? So sometimes they're going to be with us for our entire life. Other times they come in right at the moment that we need them, which actually also just happened with a client that I just, there we go had was that she had a spirit guide who happened to be an extended family member come in to help her in this next um, phase of her life. So that was pretty cool. All right. These cards are flying all over the place today. So they, your spirit team wants you to play a little bit. They want you to be in that curiosity mind. They want you to explore what interests you. What have you always kind of felt like maybe deep down inside you wanted to experience um, that maybe you haven't been because it's not the right time or you just started a family, you just started a new job, you just got married, or maybe it's something that you just haven't even explored yet because you don't know it's there. But the curiosity is also about traveling. So even if you can't travel long distances, I want you to travel even within your own city. Go see something new. Take a little day trip, right? It can be traveling through the internet as well and allowing yourself to explore areas or cultures or whatever kind of just pulls you in and interests you. Explore, have that curiosity because that gets our logical mind going and that also allows us to tap in with our spirit guides. The next one is all about being the difference, right? which means sometimes we have to be the person that stands out in that crowd. So this picture on here is a white crow surrounded by black crows, right? And that white crow is uh, different. That white crow is like a, a sign of being different is okay and allowing us to be in that space. Then we have the ghost card. So that comes back to the card of letting the past die. Don't allow the ghosts to be in the closet anymore. Allow those ghosts to just die off and allow you to bring that new energy and that new life in. Here's the curiosity card, right? Checking out some new surroundings. Be a little bit hesitant, that's okay, that's how we grow, but know you're supported by looking at everybody else up on the top, that you're supported and you're divinely guided by your spirit guides, and it's okay to take that step in and kind of poke your head around and see, okay, where do I need to go? But also know that if you don't actually step out into that new space and out of your comfort zone, you know you're divinely protected, then you're not going to actually be able to progress as quickly as you'd like. Here is the card of B, that one that stands out. Look how beautiful. It's yellow and golden. And then you have the typical color of the crows around, and yet they're all supporting one another. Just because you're different doesn't mean that you're not going to be supported, right? and being and expressing who you are, which I think is a huge message for us right now, is expressing and being who we truly are deep down inside. And the acceptance comes within first before we can allow that to go out. And then that last card again is the ghost card, right? And so as we're letting go of that past, you can see that there are the images of the crows that are to be ghosts, right? That you are still flying with your spirit team, your angels, your guides. You still carry the memories from the past, but you're letting it die off now so that you can create the ultimate goal of 2024. What does that look like for you? You'll have to take these messages. I ask you to sit with them, um, listen to this a couple times, connect with your angels and your spirit guides. And if you don't know how, all you have to do is just close your eyes and ask them to come in near to put you in a space of love and light with them and to allow them to just surround you with that energy, to bring you signs and symbols. Remember, it's the synchronicities that matter. Pay attention to those and I can guarantee that you'll start formulating some ideas of what you want 2024 to look like, what you're looking at letting go now. And if that means maybe that you need to do a little deep dive a little bit, you know, further in and really get into that energy that, that you don't, you haven't wanted to stir up in a while, um, 
there are therapists, there are counselors, there's Zoom, there's phone. Um, sometimes we need a little bit of that additional support in order to get us through those harder times for us to really see that light as well. So know that you're not alone in this, your angels, your spirit guides, and there are the humans here to help as well in order to get us in a place that we want to be at and need to be at for 2024. And that's a wrap, you guys.